night, Friday night, just got paid. No sleep till Monday. Lover boy. Loving every minute of it. Steal the thunder, Friday night. This could be the night. Not so much. Lead a double life. Good song, Dangerous, Destination, Heartbreak. There you go. Uh, I don't know why I'm mentioning that, but uh, yeah, well, it is Friday night in uh, the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona, where I don't not sure where you are. Maybe you're in Iowa. Maybe you're in Indiana. Maybe you're in um, the West Valley of uh, Phoenix. Maybe you're in Washington. Wherever you are in the country, uh, say hey. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, it's uh, me. Yeah, me, of course, hanging out on a... Uh, on a, on a Friday night, uh, Audrey's here uh, running things. And then uh, what else? Oh, Jen, back at uh, HQ, uh, handling uh, all of uh, all of your requests. Uh, and our process uh, for organizing stuff is going swimmingly. So hopefully, indeed, you will see invoices come through tomorrow morning, West Coast time. And then maybe a little uh, more a little later in the afternoon if you're on the East Coast. Or if you're in Phoenix. So, yeah. Welcome to the big show. We do this every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. That is uh, 7, 8 Central and 6 Pacific Arizona time as well right now. And, uh, yeah, we'll go through a bunch of... We got some really cool stuff tonight. Again, I, I'm, I'm really happy with the stuff we've been getting in. And it's fantabulous. And then uh, we'll uh, go through the stuff. And if you see anything you like, all you got to do is hit the... Uh, Hit the old uh, text uh, type in a love on your uh, YouTube or on your uh, Facebook and say, hey, and you can just type in, you know, Joe Satriani or JS for Joe or surfing with the alien or JS alien because we have a couple different Joe Satrianis tonight. And then, uh, and then, yeah, we'll pull it for you. Uh, and if you're local, you can come in and pick it up if you prefer. And if you're, uh, and if you want it shipped, we do a flat rate of shipping. So whether you buy something on Wednesday night, Thursday night or Friday night, we wait until Saturday to send out the invoices. So you got three opportunities to um, buy as many records as you want, whether it's one or whether it's 18. And then it's just a $7 flat shipping rate. And then uh, if you're a first time buyer, make sure you create an account on uh, rockdistownrecords.com. That's account.rockdistownrecords.com. Or you can just go to Rock Discount Records and click on the top of the page, a little thing that says create an account. I think it says create an account, something like that. Depends on if you're on your mobile phone. Yeah, Mike. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you tonight. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so a couple of notes here I wanted to mention here before we get started. So Pearl Jam has got a new album coming out. They released another single um, last night, today, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's, it's called Running. I'm digging on the first couple of singles. They're really good. I think this is going to be a pretty hot Pearl Jam record. They've made um, a little Vegas slash Arizona version of the record on silver and black galaxy vinyl available to us. You can see it on the website. We put up some copies today. It sold out immediately because Pearl Jam was promoting it. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is if you're interested in the copy and you're local, or even if you're just watching the show and you're interested in the copy, let us know and we'll, and we'll put you down for a copy of uh, the new Pearl Jam, but yeah, make sure you hit the website. You can kind of see what it looks like. It looks fantastic. It's limited to 2,500, so it's a very small press. Uh, they're only doing the black vinyl on the day of release, which is April 19th, and then they're doing a um, 7,500 uh, copy version of a record store version of Dark Matter by Pearl Jam. So we're not going to put it up. We're not going to put uh, the rest of our copies that we've been allocated for this uh, special Arizona slash Vegas uh, version of Pearl Jam online because we want to kind of save them for the locals or if you're watching the show. So there you go. A couple of uh, cool pre-orders, then we'll get started. I wanted to mention Dave Matthews uh, has a new pre-order up on the website. Uh, I forget the name of the record. I'm sure Jen would help me out potentially. Sorry, Jen. And then Modest Mouse, good news for people who love bad news. I think it is something like that. Really good album. Uh, they're doing a uh, pink and blue version of that as an anniversary edition. So that's pretty cool in my humble opinion. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, Audrey's giving me the thumbs up. Audrey bought a couple records today. She bought uh, Metal Health by uh, Quiet Riot. This is our uh, little uh, 
Taylor Swift fan <laughs> that's buying Metal Health, and then she bought Sports because we were playing Sports the whole album in the store, and she's like, "This is really good. I really like this." And I'm like, "Yes." Huey Lewis and the news is fantastic. And then that copy of four that we had in the show, I think last night or the other night, someone came in today. I think it was Pete that came in today and picked that up. So, yes, Huey Lewis and the news, fantastic. All right, let's get started. We'll go over this, um, the premium crate one more time before we leave tonight, in case you're joining late. But here it starts with Rush Archives. This is VG++ condition. It's a pretty nice copy, I got to say. And what is Rush Archives? Well, it's the first three albums you get. It's not the artwork, I don't think. There was the artwork on this, uh, Audrey, it didn't have the uh, artwork for Rush or Fly By Night or Caress of Steel, right? Yeah, okay. But we can check that if you have any questions. But it has the first three albums in it. Um, and Fly By Night, obviously, was the, the, the big one there, kind of, um, with, you know, Fly By Night. I, I'll, I'll spare you my Getty Lee in, in, interpretation or in, impersonation. And then obviously the first album didn't have Neil Peart on it uh, as well, but but it's got Working Man on it, so some pretty good stuff. I've never seen actually a copy of Caress of Steel come into the store. I don't think I have at least. So anyways, $49 for Rush. It's a triple album uh, from the guys, um, and uh, it's uh, VG++ condition. So first time we've had that one appear in the store. That is Joe Satriani, Surfing with the Alien. This is $39. It's a VG++ copy beautiful uh cover there's a little bit of uh issue there with like a little bit of peeling on the back and there's like a hype sticker that's weird you know the hype sticker gives us the um actual track listing so that's 39 dollars for a really nice copy a 1987 album of joe satriani surfing with the alien that is pink floyd as you might have guessed and that is 24 dollars vg plus plus condition of the iconic album from 1973. This is a reissue. It's not a. It's not a first press. It's a 75. So it's it's still what 40 years old, and it's 24 dollars. And hey, who doesn't love Pink Floyd? Uh, actually, um, I've got a Pink Floyd "Delicate Sound of Thunder," and it's fantastic. But I wanted to. Uh, we got a restock on that. Um, Dave commented for Joe Satriani. Okay, cool. Mike commented second, but Dave was first. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so um, Dave wants uh, Joe Satriani. So here's the thing, uh, Mike. I have another copy of Surfing with the Alien in here. It's less expensive, but the condition isn't as good. This is a VG copy. The jacket is actually in better condition, but the vinyl is VG. So let me know if you want the VG copy of surfing with the alien mm -hmm. uh that is 24 uh instead and then glenn will take pink floyd all right glenn wants pink floyd glenn gets pink floyd Ooh, midnight oil nice and then what was the other one that we missed uh oh pearl jam az copy okay so mike's interested in that so we'll make a note of that if you could actually make a note of that as well audrey and i'm sure jen will make a note of the az copy on silver and black galaxy vinyl but yeah, I, the new single, came, another new single came out from the album. It's called Running. It's very kind of punky by Pearl Jam, but I've heard this album is going to rock, and I hope it does because I loved Verses, especially the rock songs on Verses. And yeah, anyways, I digress. Uh, Mike is in on the uh, $24 copy of Surfing with the Alien, so I'll pull that for Mike Kennedy. Mike gets that. So cool. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. All right, cool. Uh, so Rush, and then oh, we're up to Midnight Oil. That is a $39 copy, VG++ of Diesel and Dust. It's a beautiful copy. There's just a little bit of sh edge wear or shelf wear, you know, from pulling it in and out. Um, but the back cover looks really nice. And, yeah, this is, you know, the Australian boys, the beds are burning. We had another copy of this in the store recently. And uh, this one is just, uh, is, is, it was graded the same, actually. It was a VG++ as well. So there you go. Uh, Midnight Oil, Diesel and Dust, a hard record to find from, what is that, 87, 88? Let me see if I can see the copyright. Sometimes they put those things so small, 87. Jason will take the Midnight Oil. All right. Jason wants Midnight Oil. Jason gets Midnight Oil. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate that. All right. 
Dokken, tooth and nail. This vinyl is in excellent condition. The jacket is really in excellent condition as well. I mean, once again, just a little bit of tiny uh, edge wear there from pulling it out. But if you were displaying it, I mean, there's maybe a little edge wear in the lower left-hand corner. And maybe the, the corners, you know, just got a tiny bit of edge wear. $39. I love me some George Lynch. Um, and obviously just got lucky on here when heaven comes down into the fire. So great record by Dawkins. Um, some people, I think, like the old school docking a little more than, say, the kind of more mainstream. I mean, there's some really good songs off of Under Lock and Key. I mean, The Hunter and um, Unchained the Night. I didn't really, yeah, it's not Love is Okay. And I've tired of um, that one song, what is it, In My Dreams. But the deep tracks off of that album are really good. But this is Tooth and Nail, $39. Excellent condition on the vinyl. And the jacket's pretty sexy as well. Another hard record to find. Speaking of Australians, this is the Church Starfish. VG++ condition on the vinyl. It's got a little bit of ring wear because it is a white album. Um, little tiny bit of discoloration. Uh, not that much, just a little bit. The back is a little more pronounced with the ring wear. You can see, the obviously, the label there and the uh, whole record. But, yeah, hard record to find by the church. That is Starfish. That is $39. VG++ on the condition. Oh, look at this. Mr. Joe Satriani again. The vinyl is in excellent condition. It's got a little bit of an issue there on the front here where there's some peeling off of the uh, cover. Um, but other than that, it's tip top. Uh, excellent condition. $34. Not of this earth. And the back looks great as well. So there you go. Written and arranged by Mr. Joey Satch Boogie himself. I don't know this album from Joe. But, uh, yeah, there you go. I know kind of uh, Surfing with the Alien, and I think the follow-up from that. But, uh, yeah, so this is uh, an album I've never seen. Not of this earth, Joe Satriani, excellent condition, $34. All right, what's next here? Oh, and Steely Dan. Everybody loves Steely Dan. This is $29. The vinyl is in excellent condition. And, uh, yeah, it's a 2LP with pretty much all their hits from 72 to 78. Uh, what can you say? The uh, jacket's in good condition. It's a gatefold. Is it a gatefold? No, it's not a gatefold. It's just a, it's just a 2LP set of Steely Dan, $29. All right, let's do that. On that, since, it's a little, since YouTube gets very sensitive on uh, stuff like this, Let's uh, put up uh, this. That's my notes for today. Pearl Jam, Dave Matthews, Modest Mouse, and Audrey bought sports and mental health. So there you go. $24. That is uh, Santana Abraxas. This is a reissue from the 80s, but it's a beautiful copy. It's uh, The vinyl is in excellent condition. So there you go, Santana, for $24. i will just leave that there. Mike's going to take Steely Dan. Mike is taking Steely Dan. All right, Mike. Mike gets Steely Dan's greatest hits. Boom. Cool. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. All right. Up next, we've got uh, the early years. Walter Becker, Donald Fagan. This is $24. The vinyl is in excellent condition. Uh, I've never seen this record. Sometimes records come in that i never seen, and I almost get a kick out of it. $24. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice copy. What can I say? You got the cigarettes and the ashtray going there and a little bit of uh, cigarette ash there. So, um, yeah, Walter Becker, Donald Fagan, the early years, $24, excellent condition. Here's Madonna, True Blue, Baby, I Love You, $24, VG++ condition for the material girl herself. Papa, don't preach on here. Open your heart. Live to tell. Ooh, live to tell. That's a good song. That's a really good song. La Isla Bonita, True Blue. Obviously, the title track, um, $24, and the, and the vinyl, the, the jacket is in beautiful condition. So there you go. Uh, this is Noah Khan. This is a RSD Black Friday edition of the record. So this was supposed to be repressed on March 15th, but there were some uh, delays. There's no update, um, but it was only going to be repressed on blue vinyl, and this is the ocean blue vinyl, which Audrey called at the time. I don't know if it's changed the most beautiful colored record she's ever seen in her life. So, and she collects some color vinyl. 
in addition to collecting some really cool 70s and 80s stuff. This is an excellent condition, $79. Noah Khan, Cape Elizabeth, the RSD Black Friday version. What's up next? It's Rush, All the World's a Stage, $19 VG plus condition on this one, 2LP set. And what year is this from? I can never... Uh, let's see, Bastille Day's on here, Fly by Night, so it's early, 2112's on here. So we're getting into the late 70s, working man. So yeah, I'd say what, 77 maybe, 78? I don't know. Terry's going to take Madonna. All right, Terry wants Madonna. All right, let me grab Madonna out of here. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate it. Madonna goes to Terry. All right, let me take a little sip of water. We'll move on. All right, where do we leave off? Rush. Is there a record? Oh, there is a record there. It's more Rush. This is uh, Little Feet, $19. This is a reissue, but it's a beautiful copy of Waiting for Columbus, $19. Excellent condition for Little Feet. And it is a 2LP, and it is a gatefold. Look at this. Autograph. We've had the other autograph record come in the store, the the, the follow-up album. We've never had sign in, please. And this is the one to have if you're into autograph. This is $19, excellent condition. And this is Turn Up the Radio. There you see that young man's smiling face. I remember that guy. That guy looks like, um, what's his name? Oh, he was in like the movie Rockstar. Uh, Hole and a half kicked ass, and I'm proud to have written it. Oh, I forget his name. He's like in um, he's like in Justified, I think, as well, with Walton Guggins. I can't remember the guy's name. But, um, yeah. And his autograph, excellent copy on the vinyl. And the cover is uh, pretty good. Yeah, I, well, it's actually very good, in my humble opinion. So, there you go, autograph. Diamond David Lee Roth. Oh, sorry. David autograph. Oh, okay, David. Or wants... not David, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Terry David wants. And I said that. Terry wants autograph. Terry, sorry. sorry. You said the word David. I was like, oh, David. David Lee Roth. Um, and obviously, Autograph opened for Van Halen on the 1984 tour uh, when bands used to take out young bands, and then Van Halen in 5150 took out BTO. We talked about that last night. That was so bizarre. But whatever. Um, but this is an excellent copy of Skyscraper by David Lee Roth. This is $19. Yeah, it's a beautiful copy. Just a tiny bit of little edge wear there. The back looks great. Knuckle Bones is fantastic, just like Paradise. David Lee Roth's hair in the in the video for Just Like Paradise. What in the wide, wide world of sports was that guy thinking? Skyscraper is a good song. Damn good is damn good. Hot Dog and a Shake is beautiful. Obviously, B Billy Sheehan had left the band by this time, but uh, Steve Vai and Greg Bissonette were still in the band, and Matt Bissonette, Greg's brother, had uh, picked up the bass. Uh, when Billy left. Uh, it's too bad because apparently there was a rumor going around and Matt Bissonette and Billy Sheen and Steve Vai were ready to go, but David Lee Roth is just so dysfunctional, unfortunately. But those guys were going to do, were ready to go and do like a little tour with Dave, um, kind of just, you know, bring back those albums that were pretty damn good, you know, Eat Them and Smile and obviously this one. And some of the other stuff Dave did, but eh, that, that didn't go anywhere. Just like pretty much everything with Van Halen, unfortunately. Some guy was in the store looking for Van Halen 3 today. It was a kick. Van Halen 3, the Gary Sharon record, never been pressed on vinyl. And But I made the prediction to him. I said, in 2025, I predict Van Halen 3 will finally be pressed on vinyl. David Lee Roth. Oh, David Lee Roth goes to... Oh, look. Don't worry. Sorry. Don't worry. I, just saw I, I can look, so... All right, Glenn gets David Lee Roth. Thanks, Glenn. Appreciate it. All right. So if you see anything you like, uh, you're joining us, you're watching, you just comment like uh, Glenn did, and boom, go from there. This is Fleetwood Mac Rumors. This is a VG copy. It's got some staining. It's $14 because it's, um, you know, it's been well-loved. Let's just put it that way. This is uh, a VG++ copy of Schools Out. It looks really nice. It does not have the undies with it, so... Um, don't get too crazy, but you know, it's, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, classic album from, uh, Alice Cooper and it's $14. We have a copy of Abbey Road VG condition. The sleeve is, you know, been, this has been well loved as well. It's $14. I think we've got another one coming up as well. 
Two more, Audrey says. Magical Mystery Tour. Once again, this actually the, the, the this one is in much better condition as far as the jacket. The vinyl is very good, but it's not VG plus. It's not VG plus plus or excellent, but it's still very good. And it is uh, fourteen dollars for the BG, not the BGs, the Beatles. Led Zeppelin four, same thing. We've uh, graded the vinyl at VG, and it's fourteen dollars. Another copy. <laughs> Of uh, Abbey Road, fourteen dollars VG, and finally another copy of this is from the same collection. And the guy loved his Beatles, and he loved to play the Beatles, and this is fourteen dollars as well. And then finally, there's a version of uh, Pieces of Eight by Sticks I've never seen. This is fourteen dollars. It's a picture disc collector's edition. Uh, excellent uh, copy on this. It says it's number nine ninety five forty seven. I guess back in the day, though, that would probably be a pretty low number because bands were selling two, three, four million records each. So that there's 10,000 copies of that record floating around, and that's 9547, I guess kind of makes sense in, in some ways. So there you go. All right, let's run through this crate one more time, and then we'll jump into some new vinyl. And then we've got some uh, also some more um, actually uh, pre-owned vinyl. That's uh, brand new to you guys as well. So thank you very much for tuning in. All right. Rush Archives. This is the first three albums. $49. VG++ plus plus, uh, on the condition on the vinyl. And you get Rush, self-titled, Fly By Night, and Caress of Steel. That Caress of Steel album is so uncharacteristic for a name of a Rush album. But Steel Day's on it. But yeah. Dokken, Tooth and Nail, $39. An excellent condition. Beautiful jacket, beautiful, beautiful vinyl. The Church is 39, Starfish, VG++ on that one. Joe Satriani, Not of This Earth, 34. The vinyl is in excellent condition. That is a reissue of Santana's Abraxas from the 80s. Excellent condition, $24. Harold wants sticks. Harold wants sticks, nice. All right, Harold gets sticks. Tommy, uh, Tommy Shaw. Dennis DeYoung when he was in the band and uh, Jay, Jay, I can't remember. It's, it's like initials for that guy, but I don't remember the initials. Uh, the early years, Walter Fagan and Don, uh, Don Becker. <laughs> Reverse that. Strike the pose. There's nothing to it. Walter Becker and Don, Donald Fagan. Donald Fagan. Excellent condition, $24. That is Noah Kahn, 79. That's the uh, Black Friday edition. That is uh, Rush, All the World's a Stage, 19 That is Little Feet, a reissue, uh, $19 for Waiting for Columbus. Dave wants Joe Satriani. Dave wants Joe. Nice. Very cool. Oop. Joe was right there. Yoink. Nope. Joe was right there. Nope. Yoink. Joe was right there. There's <laughs> Joe. All right. Cool. Thank you, sir. Uh, that is Fleetwood Mac. Rumors, $14 VG. It's like all these um, Fleetwood Mac, Beatles, and um, Zeppelin records um, were well-loved, but still uh, in very good condition. VG++ on this Alice Cooper for 14 The Beatles, 14 That is the Beatles again for 14 All these VG condition on this last grouping, 14 Led Zeppelin and the Beatles, 14 And the Beatles, 14 I don't know if we have a copy of... Uh, Abbey Road in our collection, Jen. So maybe I should bring home a copy of Abbey Road and we could listen to it. So Chuck would like Pink Floyd. Chuck, all right, cool. Pink Floyd. Did we have a Pink Floyd? Mm -hmm. I think we did, but it's gone. It's uh yeah, we uh had Dark Side of the Moon, Chuck. If you were looking for that, that unfortunately is already sold tonight. So, but hey, Chuck, uh, nice to uh, meet you. Uh, that's a new name for uh, me to see, and I always like to see new people uh, join our uh, join our little uh, tender loving uh, live stream. So, nice to meet you, Chuck. And all right, so let's move on to some new vinyl. Then we'll go on to some more pre-owned vinyl. Let me grab this and do this. And if there's anything that you uh, decide you want, just uh, just let us know in the chat. And we'll uh, we'll grab it out of that first crate, if you like. Uh, let's see here. Where are we going? Okay. Uh, this is Soundgarden. This is Super Unknown. 
It's a 2LP. What's on here? Fell on Black Days, Black Hole Sun, Spoon Man. Very nice. This is $45.99. The price of some of these, these new vinyls have gone up extremely high. This is one of them that's, I think, gone up maybe at least $10 to $15 in the last year. But it is a 2LP. It is a gatefold. And it is Super Unknown, which was a hard record to find for a long time. So if you're interested in Super Unknown, boom, there it is. Two people comment for Soundgarden, and Glenn was first. All right, Glenn is first, and Christopher was second on that one. Um, what do we got here? Oh, aha, uh -huh, hunting high and low. So Audrey, when she was going through the store today, and she's like, I'm going to buy sports, but I want to buy another record. She decided on mental health. I was pushing for aha's uh hunting high and low because Take On Me is on here. The Sun Always Shines on TV is on here, and this is on Orange Vinyl, limited edition um, Sunset Orange Vinyl. It's $28.99. It's a fantastic record. Jen and I watched a performance of these guys from maybe five, ten years ago. They still sound fantastic. And the guy still has his range. And Jen was like, and he still has his high cheekbones. He's so pretty. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, this is Taylor Swift's. Uh, this is uh, Folklore. A lot of people love this record. Folklore and Evermore. We can't keep in stock. In fact, we got Evermore back in the day. Boom, it's already sold out. Uh, that is $39.99 for Folklore. <laughs> I forgot that this is in here. So you want a nice copy of Abbey Road? Boom. There it is. This is the new mix by Giles Martin. It's the anniversary edition. I think the 50th anniversary edition. This is $34.99. Abbey Road. I don't even know what's on Abbey Road. Come together. Okay. I want you. Okay. Here comes the sun. Ooh, that's a good one. I love that song. So I, I just don't know the Beatles that well. So what are you going to do? Where there's Taylor Swift, there's always Kanye. $48.99 for 808s and Heartbreaks if you're into Kanye. Um, and it's a good record, I got to say. Uh, this is George Michaels. Uh, Listen Without Prejudice, $24.99. It's obviously got Praying for Time on it, but it more importantly has Freedom 90. And didn't we listen to a, oh, we listened to Careless Whisper today. No, not Careless Whisper, Audrey. We were listening to um, Make It Big by Wham in the store. We also, just before the show started, we were listening to Live at Budokan. I think there might be a copy in here coming up. Really good album. Love that. Uh, Ain't That a Shame, man. Oof. Those guys wail on Ain't That a Shame. Stone Temple Pilots coming to town here in Phoenix. They're uh, playing with Live, which is very cool. Soul Asylum is opening. I've heard Soul Asylum and, what is it, uh, the Black Crows are two of the best live bands going right now. Anyways, Stone Temple Pilots, Core. This is the brand new album. I remember buying this record, and I was just, like, blown away by it. I mean, dead and bloated sex type thing. Sex, I can't talk. Sex type thing. Wicked Gardens on here. Uh, Creeps on here. Plush. Cracker Man. Such a great record, in my humble opinion. It wails, as they say, in Wayne's world. Chris wants Stone Temple Pilots. Ah, Chris. Very nice. Chris grabs Stone Temple Pilots because it wails, man. Uh, this is Taylor Swift again, Reputation, $56.99 for Reputation. Another Taylor Swift, uh, $29.99 for 1989, a 2LP. So this one's 2LP, $56.99, and it's a picture disc, and this one is $29.99, and it's a 2LP. So go figure. Ooh, this is a heavy, this is a beefy Guns N' Roses. $39.99, Appetite for Destruction. Um, and, uh, it's a two LP. So you've got, uh, let me see, is there like an etching on one side? It looks like there's a, there's a, so there's a G and R. So there's a G side, there's an L N side, there's an R side. I think this might have, there's no hype sticker on it, but I think if memory serves, there's an etching on one of the sides, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on the, um, one of the best albums from 1987, Hysteria, Kick, Permanent Vacation. All right, cool. Harold grabs Guns N' Roses. A little G and R action tonight. I'll put that. Uh, I'll hand that to you. Audrey's wearing a Motley Crue shirt tonight. Uh, today, so Crew man. 
love the crew. Uh, Jeff Buckley, Grace. Everybody loves this record. Thirty ninety nine. I always get Jeff Buckley and uh, Jeff Healy confused for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, the iconic album from uh, Jeff Buckley, Grace. Thirty ninety nine. Little Def Leppard. Thirty five ninety nine. This is a two LP retroactive. Love the cover. You know, if you look closely, and then if you don't look closely, it's a skull. So there you go. Uh, it's got some, uh, I think it's basically has two leftover tracks from um, kind of the Pyromania days. Uh, Desert Song, which is fantastic. Fractured Love, which is fantastic. And then it's, it's a mix. There's some like, there's like some B-sides. Uh, Ride Into the Sun is on here that they did. There's a From the Inside song, which is fantastic. It's an acoustic song. It's about kind of heroin. It's maybe about, um, yeah, you know. Days and days in a rock band, but uh, really good album by uh, Def Leppard that they released after Adrenalize. So there you go. Ooh, here you go. That's what I'm talking about. Live stuff. I love this live album. Pink Floyd back in stock. Delicate Sound of Thunder. It's fifty one ninety nine. So it's a little bit of a push, but you know Pink Floyd does fantastic stuff, and this is a remastered hundred eighty gram vinyl. And it's got everything you'd want on it. And I know people love Pulse, and I understand it. I respect it. There's a young man that comes in the store. His name is Eric. And he he had been waiting for Pulse all of his life. He finally got the Pulse box set. I'm like, I respect that, but Delicate Sound of Thunder is better. And then he um, and he got mad and left. No, no, he didn't get mad. He just, he just looked at me like I was crazy. But I wasn't. Ozzy Osbourne, Diary of a Madman, twenty-seven ninety-nine. I see Ozzy got a new song out there on the radio with Billy Morrison, his buddy. Um, Steve Stevens plays guitar on it as well from Billy Idol's band. Um, obviously, Over the Mountain, Flying High again. Uh, the big songs on this one, Diary of a Madman as well, twenty-seven ninety-nine for Ozzy. Salt and Pepper, all right, back in stock, uh, thirty-four ninety-nine for Salt and Pepper. Uh, what a man is what a man on here. I don't know if what a man. Oh, what a man is on here. Nice. I know some salt and pepper. I know some salt and pepper. Don't you be challenging me. Uh, De La Soul is dead. The sophomore album from these guys, uh, thirty four ninety nine. And we got a little Beastie Boys as well, thirty eight ninety nine. And that is, I think this is the one on color vinyl, fruit punch vinyl. Um, uh, there you go, uh, the Beastie Boys, and that is licensed to ill. So very cool. And then Shania is kind of facing the wrong way here. Uh, that is Shania, thirty-four ninety-nine. This is, I believe, the country version. Yeah, the country version of her album Up. So it's not the pop version, but it's a, a country version. So very nice. And then finally, back in stock, that is Van Halen, twenty-eight ninety-nine. The iconic first album. If you remember, we featured a first press of Van Halen one on the Palms labels from 1978 that actually sold, I think over the weekend, this past weekend. So I was like, I kind of wanted that for our collection. And I'm just like, well, maybe I'll hold out. Maybe it won't sell, you know, in, in theory and everything in the store is, is, is Jen and I's Jen and my collection. So when you think about it, but it gets sold. <laughs> Dang it, I said um, Martin wants the Beastie Boys. Oh, the Beastie Boys going to Martin. Okay, cool. Thank you, Martin. Martin gets the Beastie Boys on Fruit Punch Final. Okay, let's recap this bad boy really quick. That is Aha, uh -huh, Hunting High and Low, twenty eight ninety nine. Taylor, thirty nine ninety nine. The Beatles, Abbey Road, thirty four ninety nine. Kanye, forty eight ninety nine. Uh, Listen Without Prejudice, George Michael, twenty four ninety nine. Taylor again, fifty six ninety nine. Taylor again, twenty nine ninety nine. Jeff Buckley. $30.99. Def Leppard, retroactive, $35.99. Uh, Pink Floyd, $51.99 for Delicate Sound of Thunder. Man, at the end of Run Like Hell, Nick Mason just owns it, man, on those drums. Oh, so good. Uh, Ozzy, $27.99. I love music. What can I say? I like talking about it. So just the way it is, man. I just, some stuff is just like, damn, Nick. He's just rocking it. Um, that is salt and pepper, thirty-four ninety-nine. De La Soul is thirty-four ninety-nine. Shania is thirty-four ninety-nine. And then the mighty Van Halen. And the best song off of this record is yes, it is on fire. Now, I realize it's a greatest hits in my humble opinion. Though most of the Van Halen records are greatest hits records in my humble opinion. So, 
I know Jen would say it's ain't talking about love, but I'm going on fire. So. Uh, Kevin will take Jeff Buckley. All right, cool. Kevin grabs Jeff Buckley. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it if you're a first time uh, watching. Um, I don't recognize your name, so I apologize. I'll learn it. Uh, but um, if you uh, if you had, don't have an account with us, make sure you head to rockthistownrecords.com or account.rockthistownrecords.com. Create an account if you don't have one. And then, boom, we'll get you all set up. Very cool. All right. Once again, Friday night, Friday night. Just got paid. No sleep till Monday. That's on that record. Loving every minute of it. By the wonderful Canadians of love, lover boy, Paul Dean, Mike Reno and company. Boom. That's $9. The vinyl is in excellent condition. Mm. Still in the shrink. Still with the hype sticker. Very nice. Beautiful copy of that record. Underrated band. I know the ballads kind of got to a lot of people, but Steal the Thunder. Paul Dean is a monster on Steal the Thunder. Friday night's great, too. Lead a double life and dangerous. So there you go. All right, I'm done. Led Zeppelin two, twenty four dollars. This is an excellent condition. Now this is a reissue uh, that came out uh, probably a couple of years ago. This is a hundred eighty gram vinyl. The vinyl is in excellent condition. Twenty four dollars for Led Zeppelin two. You got to hand it to Led Zeppelin. They rarely, if ever, put their track listings on the uh, back covers. Let's see if they did here. They did not. <laughs> now, this is an OG version, not a first press by any means. It's a VG copy. Uh, Julie, I believe, has written her name on it. That's Led Zeppelin three. It's got the little cutouts and stuff. That is $9, so that's a pretty good deal. If you're looking for a starter copy of Led Zeppelin three by the, uh, the mighty Led Zeppelin. Uh, ZZ Top Fandango, $14, VG plus condition. Uh, more new vinyl in the store. That, is that the original? Is that Frank Beard? I know that's Dusty, and I know that's uh, Billy, but is that Frank? Is this like a, are we having like a Neil Peart and Rush situation here with this record? Billy Gibbons, Dusty Hill. Oh, Frank, that is Frank. Wow. I never knew Frank had the long hair. He had the curls, obviously in the 80s. Uh, Frank Zappa, Hot Rats, excellent condition on this bad boy. That is $24 for Hot Rats. Uh, a young man that comes in the store, he was here today. Jeff uh, is always, uh, well, trying to talk me into listening to Wishbone Ash. He says, Wishbone Ash is good, it's good, it's good. So there you go. Wishbone Ash, VG Plus. It's a UK pressing, and it is from the 70s, so it's going to sound fantastic because the UK did amazing presses in the 70s. Another Wishbone Ash, another UK press, excellent copy on the vinyl. That is $29 for that one. What was the other one? That was uh, oh, $39 for that one. Woo-wee. These ones look up in three. You said something. Oh, did I say that? Sorry. Denise would like Led Zeppelin. Oh, Denise. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Denise wants Led Zeppelin 3. So there you go. Cool. Thanks, Denise. Hey, Tom. I see you joining us. Uh, what Guns N' Roses was offered and did it sell? Uh, what we what sold was a um, a reissue, uh, th a, a two LP uh, with G on one side, N on one side, R on the other side. And I think there's an etching. I'm not sure 100. Uh, percent um, So it was a reissue of Guns N' Roses. So there you go. It wasn't Use Your Illusion or Chinese Democracy. You know, I know it's been a long time since Chinese Democracy came out, but the more I've listened to Chinese Democracy. I know Slash isn't on it. I know Duff isn't on it, but it's still a really good record. And those guys, to credit Slash and Duff, they've been playing some Chinese Democracy when Guns N' Roses have been touring the last seven, eight years. So, anyways, that's just my 10 cent take. Uh, Steely Dan Asia, $14, VG plus condition for Steely Dan. The Mighty Van Halen and Fair Warning. Eddie's guitar sound on this is fantastic. That is $20, $29 VG plus condition on that Van Halen. Ooh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Couldn't stand the weather. Excellent condition on the vinyl. The jacket's got just a little tiny bit of ring wear there. The back. There's some like, oh, there's a little bit of uh, an issue there, but it's 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 not a, it's just like a little bit of a scratch there. Not that bad. Couldn't stand the weather. The iconic album from um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, $59. In case you hadn't seen that one. Rat out of the cellar, $49. Got a saw cut, so it's a promo. 
But other than that, it's pretty tip top. There's a little bit of creasing there. So $49, but the vinyl, and that's the most important thing, is an excellent condition. Warren D. Martini on my list of elite 80s guitarists and kind of that George Lynch kind of type of um, type of um, guitarist. Uh, VG++, this is an OG version of Journey's Greatest Hits, $39 with all the hits on it. Be good to yourself included. Flock of Seagulls, VG++, this is Listen, $24 for Flock of Seagulls. Cheap Trick, oh yeah, see I told you we had a Budokan, this is $20, VG++ condition on this. This is Cheap Trick, live at Budokan, and yes, we listened to that. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rock? Indeed we were. Uh, we were rocking out before the show started. Um, Martin wants rat. Ooh, Martin wants rat. Very nice, uh, Martin. Good call on that. I love that record from rat. Hard record to find these days. Uh -huh. I don't know why, but it's good, so that's probably why it's hard to find. Nobody gives it up. Uh, let's see here. What's next? Oh, Rush 2112. Now, this is VG condition on the vinyl, so it's very good, but it's not VG plus or VG plus plus or excellent, but still. Uh, and it's $14, so it's a very friendly price copy. And it's a gatefold, and there you go. Very nice. Getty, Alex, and Neil. <laughs> oh, I love that look, man. The 70s were, were great. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, Don Henley, this is an excellent condition copy of this one. This is $14 for Building the Perfect Beast, The Boys of Summer, Sunset Grill. Dire Straits Brothers in Arms, VG copy for $14. The uh, jacket is beautiful on this one. Ooh. See, we've never had this record in the store, and I'm almost fascinated by this one. Uh, VG condition on the vinyl. The jacket is uh, very nice. It is $14. That's Thomas Dolby's Blinded Me with Science. It's basically an EP. It's only a five song, but it's got the big one on there. Here's a nice copy, a really nice copy of America's uh, Homecoming. I know America has played some um, shows out at uh, out at a venue called Encantera uh, here in Phoenix, and uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a golf course, and they played on the golf course, I believe, or no, maybe they played at Schneff Farms. I think it was Schneff Farms they played at. But uh, yeah, beautiful copy, VG plus plus, and it's a gatefold, and it's uh, nine dollars only. So. Lance will take the rush, and then Tom is like John Henry. Okay, cool. Uh, rush. Oh, the twenty-one twelve. Yes, of course. All right, Lance gets uh, rush, and uh, thank you, Lance. And then uh, Tom wants uh, building the perfect beast. Tom is currently, as I understand it, building the perfect man cave. So. Congratulations to Jillian Tom. Jillian would like Dire Straits. Ooh, Dire Straits. Very nice. Jillian gets Dire Straits. There you go. Yeah, that's going to be a hard record. Maybe not a hard record to find. You know, some records, I got a little, little tip for you. We got a record coming up next Wednesday night that's, it's never been repressed. We got a copy in. I love it. And it's got a little ditty on it called Electric Gypsy. Oh, that song is so killer but that's all i'll say uh foreigner uh vg plus nine dollars or vg plus plus on double vision by the band there's a little bit of a corner a little bend there other than that not too shabby i heard foreigners uh, hanging it up heard an interview with jeff pilson formerly of dokken well the main guitarist in dokken uh not a bassist rather um, that he was he was talking, and apparently Mick Jones uh, from Foreigners decided to hang it up, which kind of is weird because if they get in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they'll probably never get that much more exposure ever again. So, but I understand Mick doesn't really play that much with the band; it's just basically hired guns. But I'm okay with hired guns. I'd go see hired guns if they were sanctioned by the bands. You know, if the, if Aerosmith cannot play anymore because Steven Tyler is having issues. Let's, I mean, even if they're only playing a small theater, I'd still love to. I guess that's what tribute bands are for, though. So I digress. $9 for The Gambler. My mom had this record. Maybe this was the copy. Uh, I'm not sure if we have this in our uh, collection, Jen, but um, I'm sentimental for this. My mom passed away 
oh, what, uh, eight years ago? And I'm going to start tearing up here. So, Audrey, you're going to have to grab me some Kleenex. But, uh, yeah, my mom loved this record because I, and then I love this record and the gambler. What can you say? Um, greatest hits, uh, $9, VG++. Plus plus. It doesn't mean you can't buy it. We'll get another copy. And you'll be like, I can't buy I can't. I can't. I can't put Kenny Rogers in the chat because he's, he's going to start crying as a mom at that record. Uh, Chris wants Kenny Rogers. Oh, Chris. Audrey's <laughs> <laughs> like, Chris wants Kenny Rogers. Okay, Chris, oh, there you go. A stone cold there uh, for the gambler. Um, yeah, great. Great record, but I'll put that over here as Audrey is writing some stuff down. Uh, this is a VG copy of uh, the greatest T-shirt uh, man ever made. Well, maybe. Do you have a bad company T-shirt, uh, Audrey? I don't. We should get. Uh, we should get uh, Jen. We should get uh, Audrey a bad company T-shirt. Then you'd have to learn bad company. But bad company was a good band, a really good band. This is a VG copy. It's nine dollars. Um, so yeah, jackets in great condition. Uh, that is Genesis Abacab, five dollars VG plus condition on uh, that record from Genesis. Oh, here you go. The Greg Kinn Band, uh, Continued, $5, VG+. Plus. Do I know any songs off this record? No, I don't really know any songs off of this uh, Greg Kinn. It's a really cool cover. It's very 80s, but I don't know that. Uh, and then we've got uh, Elvis, baby. How great thou art. Uh, how great thou art. Oh, I can't talk. My mom would love this record. She loved gospel Elvis, man. And and, and Elvis belts it out here. This is only $5. It's VG++ plus plus condition. How great thou art. Elvis singing, um, you know, hymns uh, from church hymns and stuff and, uh, and other stuff. So, um, yeah. Look at that picture of Elvis, man. Wow. He cleans up real good. Uh, and then finally sticks in this crate. Uh, $5 VG copy. The Grand Illusion. Illusion, Michael. Oh, yeah, I can see J.L. Young. I think that's the guy's name is. Uh, Come Sail Away's on me uh, on here as well. So, yes, I remember now all the, well, the three main guys in the sticks, Tommy Shaw, Dennis DeYoung, and J.L. Young. So there you go. Let's run through these one more time. And we'll circle back around to the, uh, to the, um, Hi. Hi. <laughs> We'll circle back around to the uh, first crate of the night in case you're joining us late and you missed anything. And we got some wall records up here, too. You know, we still got Ozzy up there. We got Turbo by Judas Priest. If you need any prices, let me know. We got Faster Pussycat, uh, the one with bathroom wall on it, To Hell with the Devil. We got Poison, uh, Look What the Cat Dragged In, Hysteria by Leopard, Spreading the Disease, a first pressed on Mega Megaforce from Anthrax, Joshua Tree. Billy Idol, not Billy Idol, Billy Idol, Joel's Greatest Hits, Volume 1 and 2, In Excess, X. I got some good stuff on the wall here. Uh, Jimmy Page and Robert Plant, Walking into Clarksdale, the only album they ever did. This is an OG press from 88, so just a ton of stuff. I could go on and on, but I, I digress. Uh, Lover Boy, that's $9. Led Zeppelin, 2, 24. Fandango, 14. Hot Rats. See... When I see this album cover, I cannot see Carrot Head. Not Carrot Head, Carrot Top. Jen and I, back in like 2000, we went to see, we stayed at Caesar's Palace and we went and saw Carrot Head, uh, no, Carrot Top, I mean. He was actually pretty good. I, I gotta say, Carrot Carrot Top was pretty good. So I, I see Carrot Top when I look at this Frank Zappa record. Uh, Wishbone Ash, that is uh, 39. Wishbone Ash, 29. Asia by Steely Dan, 14. That's okay. Uh, 29 for Van Halen, fair warning. Stevie Ray Vaughan, 59 for Couldn't Stand the Weather. Excellent condition on the vinyl on that one. Journey Greatest Hits, 39. Uh, Flock of Seagulls, that is 30, no wait, 24. Uh, Live at Budokan for 20 from this, for Cheap Trick. Uh, she Blinded Me with Signs, Signs, 14. America, 9. Foreigner, Double Vision, nine. Seems to always get the best of me, that Double Vision. Uh, $9 for Bad Company. Uh, that is uh, Genesis, $5. And Greg Kinban is five. Elvis is five. He has not left the building yet. And five for Sticks, The Grand Illusion. 
All right, let's uh, switch back to the initial crate. We'll run through that one more time and then we'll uh, jump out of here for the night. I also appreciate everybody uh, tuning in. And if there's anything that you uh, missed and you're watching it back later and you want to see if we still have it, you can certainly uh, DM us on the Instagram or the Facebook or send us an email. That's always cool as well. Or hit the chat in the um, on the website. It has kind of like an whole automated chat. You just type in, hey, blah, 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 here I am. I'm uh, Joey Buttafuoco, and I want that uh, I want that album from uh, Aha. Uh-huh. Interesting choice, Joey, but you know whatever. This is Rush Archives, the first three albums. Boom. And Caress the Steel, or Caress of Steel, Caress of Steel. It sounds like a Judas Priest record or something. So weird. Um, BG plus plus forty nine dollars. Dockin, state-of-the-art rockin', $39. Beautiful copy. Excellent condition on the vinyl on that one. The Church, VG++, hard record to find, $39. Starfish. That is uh, Santana Abraxas with my notes. Um, and that is uh, $24 to reissue. Walter uh, Becker and Donald Fagan, the early years, $24. Nice copy. Noah Kahn, $79 for the Ocean Blue Black Friday version of that. That is Rush All the World's a Stage, $19, VG plus condition. What do we got? Uh, let's see, $19, excellent condition. It's a reissue of Little Feats, Waiting for Columbus. And then we've got the $14, the well-loved $14 records, except for Alice Cooper. That's actually in VG plus plus, but the rest of these are VG condition. Uh, Fleetwood Mac Rumors, 14. Alice Cooper, 14, VG plus plus. Beatles, 14. VG, same thing, 14. Zeppelin, 14. All these VG condition. And then more Beatles, and then more Beatles. All those Beatles records from the same person. He loved himself some. Abbey Road. All right, so Saturday comes, the weekend. Wait, no. Friday comes, the weekend. What's the? I'm trying to remember the line from Happy Days. Um, oh well, what are you gonna do? Saturday comes, the weekend comes, ready to rock with you. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Anyways, appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Uh, and it's been fun, and uh we're gonna jump out of here. Um, Kenny stuff, yeah, Kenny stuff when he was with the first edition was fantastic to me. So very cool stuff, Audrey. I think we're good to go. If anybody has any last minute requests, let me know. And uh, other than that, uh thanks for coming out. Next Wednesday, we'll be back with some uh some really cherry stuff. And we've got a big surprise next week on a record that I didn't think I'd ever get into the store. And we got it into the store. And it's fantastic. <laughs> but I digress. We'll see. It's just like one of those. It's a grail. I mean, it's like an elite level grail. So it'll be fun. No, you don't know what it is, Andre. No, That's, no I've, I've hidden it from you. Soon you shall know. Yeah, well, I'll tell you after the show here. So, okay. all right, cool. It uh, so yeah, I was about to say what it was. <laughs> I don't know what um, how old that Pink Floyd that Glenn got was. Uh, that was a seventy-five uh, issue of uh, Pink Floyd. We also have a UK press that's sixty-nine dollars, and that is a seventy-seven reissue. Why is that one higher? Because the UK. Um, not that the 75 reissue of Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon is going to sound like crap at all. It's still going to be a really good copy. But the um, UK versions in the 70s um, are fantastically sounding records. And we had a big collection that came in of UK records from the former road manager, Cream, Yardbirds, Dire Straits. Um, just a wonderful guy. And, um, yeah, everybody that came back in, including Audrey's dad, came back and Wow, these UK presses are insanely, unbelievably great sounding. So, but yeah, not that the United States pressings are a slouch, but it's just the UK just was really doing it well. It's like going to a really, you know, getting a good hamburger somewhere and then maybe getting like a, I don't know, Gordon Ramsay burger or something, if you like Gordon Ramsay uh, burgers. Jen and I have been there. In fact, uh, I think uh, Jen's cousin used to work at Gordon Ramsay Burger in Vegas. I don't think she still does though anymore. So, anyways, all right, we're going to jump out of here. 
Uh, Audrey has still not finished her Dr. Pepper, but uh, she's working on it. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, we're good. And uh, yeah, there you go. So yeah, Glenn, the uh, copy you got is 49 years old. It's like um, it's like Jackie Martling back in the day from the Howard Stern show. 49 years old with Nancy. He smokes a bowl. Exactly. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Um, all right, we're done. Uh, we're all. We'll see you next Wednesday night. Thank you, everybody. And uh, yeah, if you need, if there's anything we you missed out on, just uh, shoot us a message. And there you go.